Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create a simple stamina bar. So we're going to be pretty much reusing the code we did for the HP and mana bar, but in this case we're going to be creating a stamina bar that increases or decreases depending on if you're sprinting or not, and also change your character's speed while you're sprinting. And then I also included a simple mechanic, so when the health gets to zero, you have to wait for it to fill back up before you can start using it again. So there's kind of a, um, a strategy behind keeping it above zero, because if you hit zero then you have to wait it out. So you kind of have to watch your stamina bar as you're using it, so it makes for a more, um, more tactical game instead of just the basic sprint. So yeah. So we'll just go jump into our code real quick. And we're going to be editing the character motor code. Since for some reason I wasn't able to transfer variables across different scripts, I think it's because it's an instantiated object that it might not be working correctly like that. Since it's trying to find a character that fits the description, but there's multiple characters like that. So yeah, I'll try figuring that out in the future if there's a way to do network um, network transfer variables just to your character. But yeah. So you're going to want to create some variables for current stam and max stam, and these are going to be floats set to 100 each. And then is sprinting, this is just telling whether our player is sprinting or not. And then a variable stamina bar texture 2D, this will be the 2D texture for our, um, our GUI. And then stamina bar length and percent of stamina, these are for calculating out um, so the stamina bar, no matter how high these numbers are, it won't extend past a certain point. Um, stamina cooldown, this is for the cooldown I was talking before. Um, if our stamina gets down to zero, we have to wait for it to get back to 100 before we can use it again. And then you're going to want to create a on GUI function, and this will be for draw texture. And then we put our stamina bar um, texture onto there. And also we added stamina bar length here. And then we'll scroll down to our update function. So in here, it's pretty much the same exact code we used for calculating the, um, the changing HP and mana bars. So none of that has really changed. And then we're creating an if statement for if left shift is pressed down. Um, so pretty much we're altering the uh, sprint code. So if I press down left shift and current stamina is greater than zero and and stand stam cooldown is set to false. So if our if our stamina is not set on cooldown and all that, um, we can sprint. So it'll double the current speed and is sprinting equals to true. And for the is sprinting is true or false, it just tells whether we should subtract stamina or increase. And I'm gonna just go change this to plus plus because I was messing around for with it for a bit until I ch decided to change it. And so for the else statement, if uh, if we're not sprinting, we want the speed set back to 10. And is sprinting set to false? So it says we're not sprinting. So we should be, um, Let's see, less than, so we should be increasing our stamina until it gets back to 100. So if current stam equals equals zero, we're going to set stam cooldown equals to true. So we won't be able to call left shift and sprint until it equals 100, which it all set that to false. And that's pretty much all the code I set up for the sprinting feature. We can go test it out real quick. I'll pop open the console just to show you guys how it works. I was doing some testing on it earlier for the live stream, so it'll constantly be calling 10 if I hold down the sprint key. Oh. I haven't had that happen before, that's weird. I must have messed up a piece of code. Let's see here real quick. Oh, 
because I did plus plus instead of minus. Okay. So now you see while we're sprinting, it um it switches to twenty. If I let go, it goes back to ten. And I can keep doing that. But if I hit zero, I keep holding down shift and I can't do anything. And then that happens. <laughs> So pretty much I'm holding it down right now. If I let it get down to zero, I have to wait for it to fill up in order to use it again. But if I keep it um, at least above zero, I can constantly be sprinting, but you see it's little bursts of sprinting instead of um, a lot. So people kind of have to time it just right. So it's kind of like a mini game, but with sprinting. So there's a lot of things that you have to keep track of during the game. Once I get more stuff implemented, it'll be harder to keep track of your stamina. So People just have to get used to how much time they have to hold it down for before releasing it for the sprinting. And some people might want to save it because if you sprint and you get it down right near zero and you need to sprint and get away from another um, player, that's going to be an issue because if you try sprinting away, so let's say you're sprinting, oh there's a player right there, I need to sprint to get away but it's all the way down here. If I try sprinting a lot more and let it get down to zero, I'm going to have to wait to sprint. So it's kind of a cool feature. I mean, you can do whatever you want with your sprint bar, but this is how I have mine set up, so hopefully this helps you guys out.